I want to say welcome to my first YouTube video, but technically this isn't my first YouTube video because I've posted them in the past and then after a while I watch them and then I delete them because I feel like I can't be perceived for more than like two minutes. So welcome to a fresh YouTube video, question mark. I asked you guys on a poll on Instagram what you would like to see, but I only gave you guys two options because I feel like any more than that and it would just get a little confusing. But the vote for blindly choosing my makeup colors won by four people, so that's what we're going to do. First, I need caffeine, propranolol and maybe a cheese stick. Let us get started. Is that not the best thing you've ever seen? Because personally, I think that's the best thing I've ever seen. I am fed, medicated, and hydrated, so I am ready to do this. Right here, I have this big basket of Mayron cream blend sticks, which look a little something like this, and they are these cream makeups. I'm gonna shake this up, close my eyes, I'm gonna pick three colors, and then without looking, I'm going to like put them on my face, and then whatever pattern and whatever colors we get, we'll make a look out of. Okay, my eyes are closed blends okay i have three colors do i spoil the colors no i'm not going to spoil the colors okay i have three colors um this one we will put actually i don't like this one i don't like this one i'm not doing this one we're doing this no which one this one we're doing this one instead oh oh it's one we haven't used before okay i kind of want to make like a like a fun pattern so kind of like stripe it out and then we have our next color i feel like this one's orange we'll put this one here while i'm doing this i would like to give a little exciting news mayron extended my affiliate where is my where's the third color there it is okay mayron extended my affiliate code so if you would like to purchase any of their products that are not on sale feel free to use this code right here and i do make a commission off of that but you also get money off i think that is a win-win okay is this good i'm scared to open my eyes okay opening wait was i right was that orange did I say this one was orange? Wait, what was the color that I put back? It is suspicious. I am fully aware of that. I feel like every one that I've done, they've all been good colors. And I think it's just because Mayron like makes pretty colors. So if I watched someone do this, I wouldn't believe it. So I don't expect anyone else to believe it. But just know it's true. I was going to take my makeup off before this, but I didn't do that. And now I feel like I need to do that, but I don't know how to do that. I'm going to put a little bit of water on a towel and kind of like... Try to wipe off my mascara at least good enough i suppose now let's make this into something okay i think i want to do more orange here and then i really like this pink so i'm gonna do a lot of that here bringing it down the chest and a lot of this red it's kind of giving like pink avatar almost i look like a bird i want to start with the lighter colors and slowly blend into the darker ones that way it doesn't become like a muddled mess i think i want my second cheese stick now i need sustenance i can't eat cheese and blend at the same time i cannot function in these conditions it is hair wash day so i am putting it in my hair i look like an amica bottle that's what i look like i look like the amica bottles i like amica now I have a little tinier fluffy brush and going more precisely with the blending. Should we turn ourselves into a big sunset like Bob Ross style? I feel like I wouldn't have thought of that if I wasn't supposed to do that. So I think that's what we're going to do because that's a cool idea. And I want to go back to my roots and do a little Bob Ross because I haven't done that in a while. Do you want like this to be the cutoff and then like this to be the sun? Okay, more colors. Need more colors. Purple. I got a purple. This is not how I would do this if I were to do this the way I typically do this. I don't know how to do anything. I need some yellow in here for the sun, so I'm gonna do that, and then, what does the sun look like? Do we want the sun there? That doesn't make sense, does it? No, no, that doesn't make sense. Remove, okay maybe here it does make more sense on the chest i've never really painted on my chest before like i paint on my chest all the time but i haven't done like a painting on my chest we'll do like these big streaks a little something like 
there, maybe. That looks good. Now we blend. Was that white? That was yellow. Wait, what? Was that not yellow? Wasn't this yellow? Why does it say white? Wrong. Honestly, cream paint makeup is kind of just not my strong suit. So I'm going to set this with powder and then we're going to start putting like eyeshadow on top of it. And that's where I can actually like focus. This is the RCMA, the original no color powder. It's so difficult to set cream makeup that I just don't really do it just because it's, it's kind of a whole entire process in of itself and then I mess things up and then it becomes mudded but I don't know what I'm doing just set it so it doesn't move everywhere now for eyeshadow this was the palette that I made I deep panned there's a cheese it in there I deep panned deep potted deep palleted all my eyeshadows and then Turns out, like, none of them were magnetic, so then I hot glued them all in here, and they kind of just fall out. So now I don't really have a lot of eyeshadow. Taking a brush and picking an eyeshadow color. I'm gonna start with, like, a pinky red, and kind of just, I don't know. Go go from there. Ooh, I still have a cheese stick left. I'm actually gonna start kind of distinguishing my clouds a little bit. You know, maybe a little cloud lives over here. A couple little clouds kind of live over here. I can't like talk and like look at the camera at the same time so I apologize for that. I'm trying my best but I cannot concentrate and think at the same time. Those are just not two things possible. What color was I looking for? This is what I mean. Making little clouds. We don't want like a ton of them. I want this to be like a good mix of like cloudy but like not horribly cloudy but just cloudy enough to where it's like pretty clouds you know. But I also really like painting clouds so that could very drastically change in about Two minutes, maybe three minutes, we'll see. I kind of like it when the cream face paint is like not fully set, but just set enough to where it's not like icky feeling. You can still blend everything nicely, but as you put more eyeshadow on top of it, it like slowly sets up. I've never realized how many sounds are in a house until I try to record a video. There's just so many sounds. A sound every second of every day, a sound, a noise. Always a noise. I feel like that was like slam poetry right there. I like going like back and forth between bits of the makeup because if I focus on one area I just kind of do too much and then it's hard to replicate so I try to bounce kind of all over the place. I don't really keep track of which brushes I use but now I'm going in with a super light hand and then just kind of blending these clouds out a little bit. Very lightly though, very light hand, you want a very light hand. Do not press hard because then you're just gonna smear and smush everything and you don't wanna smear and smush everything because that's not what we're going for. We're not going for smear and smush, we're going for clouds. Taking a little periwinkle color and just putting that like above some of the darker clouds. So you can do whatever you want though. I kind of underestimated how difficult making YouTube videos would be, mainly because I need to like curl up in a little ball with no noise, no music, just silence and my own thoughts. But I don't have a lot of thoughts when I'm doing makeup, so it's kind of, it's nice and quiet in here. I just got a package in the mail and it's like suspiciously light and I don't know what it is and I don't recognize the address. So in case this is actually like anthrax or something, we are opening it together. There's nothing in this. That is the second time that this has happened and is this a joke? What is going on? I want to add like more details with water activated paint so I'm using the Artist Palette by Glisten Cosmetics. Is it called the Artist Palette? I think so, but it looks like this. This, this one is actually supposed to be white. It is white, it's just covered with stuff. Where's my little spray bottle? Looks like we would just use a water bottle. I'm adding like little, like not mountains, but just little like land, like a little something. So it's not just like a plain sunset. You know, we have, we have like a hill. I completely forgot like this whole part of my neck. I forgot both sides of my neck. I don't want to paint my ears. I hate painting my ears. This will probably give me a headache in about five minutes. The room is spinning. I've decided to make the mountains a little bit bigger. Do we like the bigger mountains or do we prefer tiny mountains? Now for the absolute worst part of this, I'm going to paint my hair. Yay. Okay. All right. Cream paint. Mm, cream paint. That was not a good idea. Why am I continuing to do it? 
despite saying that this is a bad idea. It's like I am fully aware that this is going to be horrible to wash off, yet I'm still doing it. I guess that this is our finished look, so here's the finished look. What do we think? Rate it 1 to 10. I think I give it a 9.3. I really like it. It's a sunset. I love sunsets. I love painting sunsets. I love painting little clouds, too, so... And the fact that this was like the three color challenge, I completely forgot about that. And that's really fun because that this is not what I thought I was going to do today. Since this is our first YouTube video, I want to do a little giveaway. So all you have to do is subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and then comment like a fun makeup look to do or something. I'm just something fun. And once you did all that, go to the first link in the description and it's going to be a Google form. And then I'm going to make a custom PR box based off like all your answers. There's going to be five winners and it's going to be open internationally so anyone can join. The ending date will be determined. I'll put it right here because I haven't figured one out yet. Now for the YouTube outro, I have wanted to do this like properly since I was 10. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button, leave a little thumbs up, maybe a comment, whatever you would like. And I will see you guys in the next video.